Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Irfan CFPS. We are continuing our class of NFPA 13 series. In today's session, we are going to understand the selection of sprinkler for storage application based on CMSA approach. CMSA sprinklers refer to a specific type of sprinkler listed for storage application with increased severity fires and you can refer NFPA 13 chapter number 22 in edition 2019 for CMSA sprinkler storage protection. In our next slide we are going to take one example and try to select the CMSA sprinkler based on that particular scenario. In this slide we are going to consider storage warehouse example and try to find out the water demand requirement considering the details which are given in this particular example. So for example if you can see here the type of facility is storage warehouse, type of ceiling sprinkler is CMSA type, type of commodity class 4, type of storage palletized storage, height of storage 30 feet, height of ceiling 35 feet and type of system wet type system. All these details are provided and now we need to calculate the water demand requirement for this CMSA type sprinklers based on NFPA 13. So based on the available data provided, we will refer NFPA 13, which is the standard for installation of sprinkler systems. So based on NFPA 13, I have extracted the table, table 22.2 .2 of 2019 edition of NFPA 13. We will find CMSA sprinkler design criteria for class one, through class 4 commodities. So based on this particular table, we can calculate or we can find out the K factor of the sprinkler and the number of design sprinklers and also minimum operating pressure from each sprinkler. So these three details we can find from this particular table. So if you see the height of the storage is 30 feet, height of the ceiling is 35 feet and the type of system is wet system type of commodities class 4. So I have extracted the table of class 4 commodity. So here you can see class 4 commodity and they have given maximum storage height here it is mentioned in feet and here in meters. Maximum ceiling height here they mentioned in feet and here in meter and so on. So now based on the storage height 30 feet here we have maximum storage height 30 feet. If you convert in meters it will be 9.1 meter and the height of the ceiling is 35 feet so here we have maximum ceiling height or roof height is 35 feet we can see here in this table so 30 feet is the maximum storage height and maximum ceiling height is 35 feet so based on this we can consider dependent type sprinkler and the k factor will be 19.6 k factor and the type of system is wet system so number of sprinklers to be considered for our area of operation will be 15 and the minimum pressure required for each sprinkler will be 25 psi or 1.7 bar. Now we are going to calculate the host stream allowance and also water supply duration. As you can see on your screen there is a table I have extracted from NFPA 13 which shows the you know host stream allowance and water supply duration based on the commodity classification. So in our scenario we have class 4 commodity and uh, we can use this table and also we are going to consider CMSA sprinklers. If you consider standard sprinklers and uh, they have mentioned number of ceiling sprinklers in design area. As per our previous slide we are going to consider 15 number of sprinklers. So here over 12 to 15. So this row we will consider. So based on this row we are going to uh, identify the host stream allowance which is 500 GPM gallons per minute and water supply duration which is about 90 minutes. So we will move forward with the next slide. So in this slide we are just going to mention the data which was already determined. So we have determined K factor as 19.6 from this particular table and minimum operating pressure from one sprinkler 25 psi 
from the same table and also number of design sprinklers as 15 and from this particular table table 20.12.2.6 we have calculated the host stream allowance and water supply duration so host stream allowance for our scenario is 500 gpm and duration will be 90 minutes so in this slide we are going to calculate the total water demand considering CMSA sprinklers before we calculate the total water demand we need to know the demand from one sprinkler the formula will be Q is equal to K root P K will be 19.6 which we already calculated on our previous slide and P will be 25 psi so the value will be 98 GPM so from one sprinkler the flow will be 98 GPM since we are considering 15 sprinklers for our scenario as per NFPA 13 table we are going to multiply these 15 sprinklers into flow 98 GPM flow from one sprinkler so the value will be around 1470 GPM so this will be the total water demand so now we need to add this 1470 to host stream allowance host stream allowance is 500 gpm so the value will be about 1970 gpm so if you consider cmsa sprinklers for our storage applications storage warehouse then we need to consider 1970 gpm flow or total flow required is 1970 gpm so now water duration will be based on uh, this gpm flow it will be 1970 multiplied by 90 minutes since we already calculated the uh, what we call the water duration so now the value will be about 177 300 gallons so the water tank capacity shall be minimum 177300 gallons and the pump selection will be based on this gpm or water demand for the entire storage warehouse if you want to consider cmda sprinklers you can watch my previous video where we have taken the same example of this storage warehouse and calculated the water demand you can compare the water demand considering cmda sprinklers with cmsa sprinkler water demand so you will uh, able to determine which one will be the cheapest and the best one to use in our particular warehouse project i hope you understand my you know video and uh, in next class we will come up with uh, one more new topic till then bye in next class we shall consider esfr sprinklers for the same storage warehouse and then we will try to calculate the water demand